Is that what you're saying? Chicken legs or pudding? No, no, not no, chicken no, no. legs. Human legs. legs. Wait, what? What is more important? You, did have? you ever watch iCarly? This is the type of stuff we would debate. Hey guys, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Gary Trainer. I'm Nathan Kress. And we are here to answer your fan questions. I didn't expect to be emotional when I saw the sets. I was more just really excited to see them. And then it kind of all came rushing just because it you remember so many things, like fun little moments from being there when you're actually in the space. So it was definitely emotional seeing that set for the first time. When I first stumbled upon the set, I found it by accident as I was trying to find my way around the stage for the first time. And I opened the door and it was just right there in front of me. And I just, I had to just stand there for about 30 seconds with my jaw a gate. For me, it was it it was like it was more it was more like this is crazy, like what are we doing? And then that swiftly turned into excitement once we all got together, and the electricity started. It was like oh here we go, here we go. And then they put me in the crib, and I was like get me out of here. I'm done. I made a mistake. <laughs> you know I paid to put this kid through law school. At an autograph signing, I had a girl come up and before saying a word, she did a very uh, pronounced kind of, oh. I thought she was doing a joke. Like she was like feigning being so overwhelmed like and doing kind of a bit. Um, then she collapsed and turns out she was actually fully passing out. And it turns out it was just, it was very real. The girl that must tore you to pieces. I know. I got tackled by a group of girls who were having a birthday in the parking lot. They were not in the park. I was in the parking lot of Jerry's Famous Deli years ago when we were still shooting. And I was leaving the restaurant with my friend and they saw me and they ran after me and they tackled me. And then I got out of there and I went right to the cops. And we threw the book at them. They're all in doing hard time now. Without consequences, a person never learns to. The one that I never forgot was when I was at Disneyland and a man came up to me and he said, will you get a picture? And I said, yes. And I took the camera and I started to take a picture of me with him and his family. But it turned out he just wanted a picture of his family. <laughs> and that one stuck with me. Legs or pudding? I believe it was a random debate we had at one point where we had to debate what was more important, legs or pudding. This is one of those. One of those. Legs or pudding. If you don't vote, you don't care. Is that what you're saying? Chicken legs or pudding? No, no, not no, chicken no, no. legs. Human legs. Legs. Wait, what? What is more important? You, did you ever watch iCarly? This never. Perfect sense. Never did. <laughs> this is the type of stuff we would debate. Legs or pudding. I don't like pudding, but legs is such an odd answer. I mean, I'm going legs. But if you were like starving out on a deserted island, you can't, you know, you're not gonna eat your legs, but you could eat some pudding. I'd rather eat my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Are they good? Yeah, they're the delicious. The tacos are delicious. Yeah. They're actually they're so good. One night my brother Spencer couldn't decide whether to make us spaghetti or tacos, and so he combined them both and he invented spaghetti tacos. The fact that more people had just asked the question without just taking 10 minutes to make some pasta and throw it in a store-bought taco shell, yeah. you can answer that question for yourself real easily, and I think you'd be pleasantly surprised with Experiment. the answer. Experiment. Experiment with it. What? Noodles can't live happily in a hard corn shell. Weird, weird food combinations though. Uh, Miranda likes fries with one line of ketchup on it. I eat every single fry with a little ketchup packet and I, oh, I individually you. put the sauce on each one. And when then I she eats it like corn on the cob. Hot dogs and peanut butter for me. Hot dogs and peanut butter. No, I don't want it on a hot dog. Hot dogs and, and neither do I. No one does. This is a travesty. Hey, come on, we got peanut butter. We got caramel, marshmallow, you know? Who's in the mood for some fudge balls? I hope you guys enjoy iCarly on Paramount Plus. We had a lot of fun making it. It's great being back together. Thank you so much for all your questions. Thank and you. And also, have a wonderful day. <laughs> hey guys, have a wonderful day. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Damn it. <laughs>